What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Today we're going to take a look at all of the new pets that came in the last update and where you can farm them. So let's go ahead and hop right in and get started with the dinos. The dino pets are going to be a 20% chance to drop in any Chaos 8 Lost Dungeons map which means you're going to want to do Lost Dungeons on Chaos 8. Additionally, these are only going to have a chance to drop from a Legendary Victory Chest, meaning you're going to always want to do your Lost Dungeon grinds in a group. Even just having one additional player in your group will guarantee you get a Victory Chest. Now, in addition to the regular Dino, there is also going to be the Golden Dino. The Golden Dino is going to drop from the same place, the Lost Dungeons maps on Chaos 8, and it is going to be a 5% chance to drop from that Legendary Victory Chest. This, of course, is the regular Dino, but the Golden variant, and looks quite schnazzy. Now, in addition to the droppable Dinos, you can also get yourself an Amber Dino. An Amber Dino is going to be purchasable with Defender Medals, right here from the Colonel's Treasure Shop. So if you head on down here, you can get yourself an Amber Dino for 7,500 Defender Medals. Now the Dino's special ability is one quite unique to the game as it does reset cooldowns. Uh, as you see here, Jurassic Warcry resets all hero ability cooldowns, cooldown of 30 seconds. Now, if you have any heroes that have a long cooldown where you'd like to use that ability more often, uh, you can get that accomplished with the Dino. See here, if we cast our hero boost, while it's on cooldown, we go ahead and hit the Dino, and that cooldown is instantly reset. So that is the Dino pets from the Lost Dungeons maps and available with Defender Medals. Now, additionally, there is the Haunted Warship, or the Haunted Ship. The Haunted Ship is going to be a Chaos 8 drop from a Legendary Victory Chest on the High Seas maps. Now, one thing about the High Seas maps is, remember, those also drop those pirate mods, meaning that anytime you run the High Seas maps, you're always going to get a Legendary Victory Chest. So, you know, although it's always more fun to play with a friend, you can safely farm this one out solo and not have to worry about losing out on any drops as you're always going to get that legendary victory chest. The Haunted Ship also has a 20% chance to drop on any of the high seas maps. And then as with the Dino, there is also a Golden Variant. The Golden Variant is going to have a 5% chance to drop from any of those Victory Chests as well, and is the same ship, but the Golden Variety. Now, the Haunted Ship has quite a powerful uh, kind of one-shot nuke pet. If you, like playing with a, if you like playing a nuke monk, but you don't like using the melee nuke build, uh, you can use a pet. Uh, of course, that's all highlighted in my nuke monk hero spotlight, uh, that I'll put a card to up above. Now, the Dino, one thing that makes this particular ability unique is it is AoE. It rolls a wave dealing 3,000% water hero damage and drenching enemy for 5 seconds with a cooldown of 40 seconds. Now, this is going to hit like an absolute truck if you are on a buffing type hero like a Nuke Monk. So if we go ahead and throw our hero boost down and then roll on out that haunted ship, uh, you see it hit uh, that first shot for 240 million damage and change. So quite the wallop uh, will certainly one shot any Chaos 8 boss and will also just clear just about any lane in the game. Now, I personally prefer to use Dragolich with the conventional nuke monk. However, the pet nukes, are quite fun to play and can be quite effective as well, so the Haunted Ship may be the one for you. Now there is a known bug in the game right now with the Golden Haunted Ship where it is not evolving properly, so keep an eye out for a fix to that one in the next update for Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, however, your regular Haunted Ship can still get it done and just dish out the pain. 
So 243 million damage on that initial shot. Just absolutely beast. And then remember, it's also drenching enemies. So if you combine this with storm damage, you are going to get that electrocute combo. So that will get it for this episode. That is all of the new pets in Dungeon Defenders 2 and where to farm them all. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.